In today's video, we are going to talk about the subject of praise. And I just want to share with you today the three benefits of praising God. And I think this subject matter will be put into context as I share some of the things that I've written on this board. Uh, before we get into the act or the doing of praise or my uh, encouragement to praise God more, I want to maybe help you understand a little bit from where I'm coming from, um, from a functional versus a relational perspective. When we are functionally minded Christians, what we are doing is we are trying to get something from God. We're trying to get Him to respond. So I, I don't want you to see praise as a function of trying to get God to do something for you. Um, from a relational perspective, we are always responding to what God did and to what God has said. So we are responding. That's the relational aspect of relating with God is responsive. <clears throat> Another way we can kind of see if we're coming at this from a functional perspective is uh, when we ask the wrong question, what's in it for me? And maybe that's why you clicked on this video. Maybe that's why you're interested about the benefits of praise. Um, but I really want to encourage you that when you start seeing promises in your relationship with God from a what's in it for me, you have drifted into a functional way of relating with God, a transactional way of relating to God. And it really um, perverts the relationship that we are meant to have with God. Instead, we should be asking, uh, what is being asked of me? in maybe a particular situation or from a particular verse or from a particular promise. What's being asked of me? Um, specifically, who's the one asking? Which is God in the scriptures? So it's a relational perspective. I'm responding rather than trying to get something that would be good for me. Uh, many times when we look at praise, uh, we're really a, a, a either seeing it from a place of things are good or things that we're grateful for. And I just want to add a little bit to that. Uh, first and foremost, remember, uh, praise is not feelings-based and it's not circumstantial. So we don't praise God because things are going well. We don't praise God just because we feel like it. One of the illustrations I often give is if you ordered uh, praise from Amazon, if you ordered uh, the weapon of praise from Amazon, it would come in a box and it would say, use when you don't feel like it. Use when it doesn't look like you should. Uh, that, that, those are the moments that we are to praise God. You know, I think gratitude is uh, you know, a response to His goodness, but praise is not circumstantial. Praise is me, uh, an act of faith. It's me performing an act of of faith. Uh, praise is a spiritual weapon. 2 Corinthians 10 tells us that there are weapons of warfare that have been given to us and praise is one of those weapons. It's sacrificial. Uh, Hebrews 13, 15 says that we are to offer a sacrifice of praise. And I wanted to read this one, Psalms 126 to you, uh, verses 5 and 6. Listen to this. Uh, because sometimes we think praise is um, a response to good things happening. But in uh, verse number 5 of Psalms 26, it says, Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes to and fro weeping, carrying his bag of seed, shall indeed come again with a shout of joy, carrying his sheaves with him. Uh, so when we praise, it's an act of faith. It's not circumstantial. It's not based upon our feelings. Uh, praise is a spiritual weapon and praise is sacrificial. And I wanted to make sure I, I mentioned this. Prayer is a game changer. Why? Because it is a way of releasing God's power into a situation. Now remember this. God has made his abode in you by the Holy Spirit. The same Spirit that dwelt in Christ also dwells in you. The same power of the Spirit that was upon and in Christ is also upon and in you. So how do we release God's power? You do it through praise. One of the illustrations that best helps us understand this is that if you have a cologne bottle or a perfume bottle, it's great in the bottle and you can smell it from close up, but if you want the atmosphere 
to be filled with the aroma that's in the bottle, what do you do? You have to spray it. And that's what praise does. Praise releases God's power into my situation. And many of you are probably at a place where you're in a place of despair or despondent, discouraged, disappointed, and life is weighing you down. I really want to encourage you to praise God because that's how you release the power of God that dwells within you into your present situation. Um, praise. I think this is important to understand. It is a verbal response to who God is. Psalms 27 verse 6 talks about two things, shouting and singing a melody. And oftentimes we don't like the shout. Maybe when we're angry we do, but when's the last time you shouted with joy? Not because you felt like it, not because everything looked right, but because you praised God. When was the last time you shouted with joy? And along with that is singing a melody to the Lord. So it's a verbal. And I understand there's certain people that cannot speak. So I understand that this has, um, this sheer definition um, has, has its exceptions. But for those of us who can verbalize and speak, uh, praise is a verbal response to who God is. It's accepting His guidance and trusting the process that he's taking you through. And so I'm verbally responding to God with a shout and with a song. I'm accepting. I'm, I'm putting myself in a posture of accepting his guidance through my situation and I'm trusting his process. And the reason why I want to say this is the process is key is because I am not just trying to do this to change my circumstance. Yes, I want the power of God to move in my situation, um, but even though, and I think uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego helped us understand that, God will deliver us. But even if He doesn't, we will still praise Him. And that is the key, is that I am not praising Him, and He better, what? He better uh, respond to me. No, I'm praising him. I'm responding to what God already did and to what He has said. So that's a good important distinction. So what are the three benefits of praising God, especially when you do it in a situation that is maybe overwhelming you or you just don't feel like praising God? You don't feel like verbally responding, shouting, singing. Uh, the first one is it will affect your disposition. Uh, John 14, 1 says, Let not your heart be troubled. That's a disposition. If you've ever seen a person with their heart troubled, you can tell. Um, and so when Jesus says, Let not your heart be troubled, praise affects your disposition. Psalms 27, verse 13 says, I would have lost heart unless I have believed that I would see the goodness of, the God, of God in the land of the living. And so it, it, I, you would lose heart unless I believe that I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. And when you start responding to the goodness of God through a verbal declaration or a verbal shout of joy, your disposition does change. Your feelings begin to line up with your shouts and your song. Um, it will affect hell's agenda. I think about Jericho, that hell had an agenda all the way back then. God had His will um, in place, and so the people, as they shouted on their, what, uh, six, seven, thirteenth time around, what happened? The walls of Jericho fell because of the shouts of triumph. Uh, Second Chronicles uh, chapter 20 talks about Jehoshaphat, how he won the army or won the war by sending out the worshipers. Um, praise has a powerful, powerful thing. It is what? Releasing God's power inside of your situation. So it affects your disposition. It affects hell's agenda. It begins to thwart what the enemy was out to do. That's very important. Some of us forget that what we're going through, hell is behind a lot of some of the stuff you may be facing. Um, the third benefit, and I love this, is it elevates God's promise above 
my circumstances and my, pro my, my problems. I want God's promise to be elevated inside of my life because the more that you look upon something, the bigger it gets. And the heavier the weight of something that you're carrying that you shouldn't be carrying, the heavier it becomes. Uh, Habakkuk 3, 17 through 19, uh, it says this, and I just wanted to read this for you. It says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, and nor fruit be on the vines, and though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, that is circumstances, and I'm guaranteeing the person who is experiencing that is not feeling like praising. Habakkuk says this, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, and I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet. This is disposition. And He will make me walk on high hills. And that is that is thwarting the enemy's agenda. I think about Job and his wife says, just curse God and die. And he says, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. He said, I'm not going to curse the God that gave me breath. So three benefits of praise. It affects your disposition. If you feel down and low and you feel like you can't go another day, start to praise God. It affects hell's agenda. There are times when hell is after and he has the schemes of the enemy are in full effect and they're coming to kill, steal, steal and destroy. Praise will affect hell's agenda. And lastly, it elevates God's promise and what He had spoken inside of your life, in, your, in His Word toward you, and it starts to elevate that inside of your life. So I hope that this, would, this has brought some uh, encouragement to you. Praise God with shouts, like a shout. I would shout, but I'm in a private office with other people around. But you shout of joy and you sing a melody. It's a verbal response to God's goodness. What am I doing? I'm accepting His guidance and His allowance. And I am trusting the process that He's taken me through. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Share this with somebody that may be discouraged. Have a great day. Bye-bye.